Greetings viewers, welcome to another fan art drawing time lapse video by yours truly, Aziz Draws. As you can see, this week I decided to draw Ryu and Ken from Street Fighter and Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, uh, <laughs> which is honestly the reason why I wanted to draw Ryu and Ken. I was playing a few rounds of Smash Bros. with my former roommate and I was like, you know what, I'm going to draw Ryu and Ken. Oh, side note. So this sketch, the reason why it looks so weird compared to the other guys <laughs> is because on my live stream when I was drawing this, um, one of my followers was asking me if I could draw with a mouse or if I've drawn with a mouse before. And I thought it was kind of interesting because the first, you know, kind of drawings I have on my videos, they're all on mouse or a touchpad. And so <laughs> I've had quite the number of... Uh, of hours clocked in for a drawing with a mouse and I figured hey let's see what happens if I try to sketch this with a mouse and so not only did I sketch it with a mouse but I sketched it with my left hand when I was drawing Ken now that was uh that was something <laughs> but yeah no that was an interesting challenge for me to try I don't know if I'm gonna ever do that again it was torturous but we'll see as you can see I'm shading the muscles here muscles are always fun to shade I don't know what it is. I think it's because of how they respond to light. You get to see the definition of it. And I'm trying to improve on making my muscles look more natural. Um, just so they don't look as, you know, ridiculously ripped. I think I could get away with it this time around because it is Street Fighter characters. And they're notorious for having just big, bulging muscles just that's just how their character designs are i I, th I feel like their muscles are getting bigger and bigger each game but it is what it is you got ken on the right i wanted to make ken as cocky as possible in this composition that's why he's got his he's got that signature pose where he's you know taunting uh the presumed opponent uh to to advance towards him and so yeah as you have ryu tying up his uh headband I just wanted them in like their signature positions, but also having them uh, describe, you know, their individual personalities. They have an interesting dynamic, uh, that's for sure. Oh, also, I don't know, it's kind of strange. This drawing um, has a very, I don't know, very toned down uh, melancholy. I don't know. I don't know if that's the word I should use, but it has a very toned down vibe to it. And I know why it's the wash that I use. Normally the washes that I use, and when I say wash, I mean this kind of color overlay throughout the entire subject. And you'll see me use it in like maybe a couple seconds. And what I did was I toned down the colors with it. It made everything darker so that it would make the highlights appear better. But in doing so, I had a tough time trying to find a good background to go with it. And eventually, I ended up having to come up with like a weird, almost grayish tone in the background. And I was wondering where that might have come from. In hindsight, I'm, I have a feeling that almost depressing color scheme came in from my uh, <laughs> subconscious memory of Street Fighter Alpha. I wasn't really thinking about Alpha when I was drawing this, but if you've ever seen the Street Fighter Alpha film, the colors are very faded, um, almost pastelish in a way. And I, I don't know, it has a really cool look to it, but I think that's what I got my inspiration from. And I also have like the paint texture thing in the background. That was definitely inspired by Street Fighter 4. Um, especially for like their commercials and the animations in the game. But that's it for this week. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you maybe next week. We'll see.